Okay, today's assignment and for slide number nine, I'd like you to draw your mug um, and how you want to personalize it. So I'm going to start out by giving you a drawing lesson on how to draw a cylinder and make it look three-dimensional. Basic cylinder, you would start out by drawing an oval. Okay, an oval gives you the illusion of a circle that's tipping back in space. So that's the top of my mug right there. If you're doing a straight up and down mug, all you're going to do is you're going to go right down as deep as you want to go and draw a second oval. The same size, the same shape. Okay, like so. Then what you can do is you can connect the sides like so, and then you just erase out this back line, and you have a mug. And then you could put a handle on it. Now, if you don't want to go straight up and down, let's say you want to flare your mug out, you can do the same thing, only your top oval is going to be smaller than your bottom oval. So your bottom oval would be slightly small, smaller than your top oval. Then you connect the side, side to side like that, and you have a cup that flares out. Now if you wanted to flare out a lot, you just make that bottom one smaller and it will flare out a lot. I just want to give you fair warning. The more it flares out like this, the harder it is to make. So I'd prefer if you want it to flare out that you stay with this one here and not this one here. Now let's say you like these shapes but you want them to bulge a little bit. Really super easy. All you would do is draw this shape and then maybe redraw them with a little bit of a bulge out like that instead of a straight line and erase out and you get it with a little bit of a bulge. You like the cylindrical mug like here but you want it to have um, a few more curves in it so you could take the top oval and then the bottom oval Start out by drawing your vertical lines here, but draw them a little bit lighter. And erase out this part. You have what looks like a soup can. And then you could, let's say you want a little bit of an indent here at the top, and you want it to flare out slightly at the bottom. All you have to do is to redraw those lines like so, and then you could add your handle. You could add a handle here. Now your handle, I want you to, you could either do a simple handle like this, like a more traditional handle, but let's say you wanted to do something really creative and do, you know, something crazy. So I've got that for a handle. Okay, you could, if I want you to think back to your creative handle assignment that you had for homework, let's say you wanted to put like a hockey stick on here. I'm, I'm, I apologize to my hockey players. I am not going to do a good job drawing a hockey stick. But let's say that's the handle that you wanted to put on your mug. Be as creative as you want on the handle part. And then what I want you to do is to draw a design that you're going to put that goes all the way around the mug. And I'm just going to do a quick little design here. You know, I love nature. I think I've already given you that. So I might want to draw some flowers going around the side here. that I'm going to put around maybe a few little leaves here. So 
I just want you to give me some idea of what you want for a design around the side of your mug. So today's assignment is to draw your mug, draw your handle on your mug, draw your design on your mug, and then the last thing I want you to do is tell me how big you want your mug to be. So um, don't go too big. The bigger you go, the harder it is. So I'm going to say that I want this to be about four inches wide and about five inches tall. Measure your mugs at home to get some idea of what, this is, might be even a little bit big, I might go with three inches wide and four inches tall, just because I think the bigger you go, the harder it's going to be, so don't go too big. But also think about what you're drinking out of it. If you're doing an espresso mug, it's going to be really small. If you're doing a latte mug, it's going to be a little bit bigger. So go with what you know. And what I'd like you to do is to take a picture of your finished drawing, and you're going to upload it to slide number eight. And in, I would also like you to add a text box to slide number eight that gives a brief description of what your mug, what you're planning to drink out of it, how big you want it to be, and how you're going to personalize it.